Okay, the alibi game should be pretty well known by most people. If not, I'll tell you how it's done. Um, the way <laughs> I do it is I say to students, did you, did you watch the news yesterday? Like, oh no. You, you didn't watch the news? Oh my god. Didn't you see there was the, the bank on, um, and I, I'm in China, so the bank on Taikun Mu. Didn't you see it? The, the, the two people went in and took the money. The students were like, oh, really? <laughs> I said, yeah, 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 and they, they ran away and they came to this school. <gasps> they were hiding in this school. And in fact, the police, yeah, the police are still outside. They, they think that it is John and Mary. And of course, they realise it's a joke at that point, if they haven't already. And then I say, right, John and Mary, where did you go yesterday? Uh, um, went to school, um, did my homework. No, you two went to, I'm sorry for the advertising here, you went to KFC at 12 o'clock. Where did you go? KFC. Where did you go? KFC. What did you eat? Hamburger. What did she eat? Uh, hamburger. Okay, so you two come here and bring some chairs for them, sit down. You have to make exactly the same story. You have to know exactly what she ate, what she drank, what she wore. And you have to know exactly what he ate, drank and wore. And many other things about the day. Now, this group over here and this group over here, you are the police. So you are going to be asking them as many questions as you can. What did you do? What did you see? Where did you go? What time did you leave? Did you go by bus? What number bus? How was the weather? All these questions to stimulate them. <gasps> so they get on with it. They're writing all their questions. This group are getting on with it as well. The two, Mary and John, they're preparing their stories exactly the same. I don't mind they use the native language for this point because it means that the police have to work much harder to get um, a mistake in it all. So, when I feel the time is, is up, I say, stop, John, you come over with this group, right over there in the corner. Mary, you come right here, close to this other group. They're far apart, so they won't be able to hear each other. Then, this group asks, was it John or Mary, whoever, they ask them loads and loads of questions, write down their answer. And that group asks the other person all their questions. Then, after two or three minutes, they change and they ask the same questions to them. Now at the end of it, they have to try and find, in my version, they have to find three big mistakes. Something like, um, which KFC did you go to? And one says, oh, I went to um, Taipei Mu. And the other person says, oh, we went to Hubei Dad, yeah. Ah, that's wrong. It's a big, big mistake. Um, or how was the weather? It was rainy, it was sunny. That's a big mistake. But if it's something like, uh, how long did you take to eat your dinner, e eat your lunch? 30 minutes, 20 minutes. That's a small little discrepancy, it doesn't matter. And by the end, have the, the groups report back um, their mistakes and see if they count. And it should be a lot of fun. Then you can actually play this again one more time. After, it takes about 30 minutes up to that point. Um, but they choose the place, they choose the time, and they just get on with it. It really helps with the past tense.